when they put their trust in you by their vote uh, to make sure that you're going to do what's right for them, I think that's very humbling, especially as an elected official. You know, voting means a lot to me, and you know, it's become more and more apparent, especially being an elected official, that hey, you know, it's a it's a great responsibility, and I feel a heavy weight on my shoulder. We have to be able to trust the process. Unfortunately, some of the process that we've seen, whether it's been uh, interference from foreign countries in our election process or donations and from one particular party trying to drive up the vote in a particular district, a lot of people have lost trust in that process. And so hopefully by instituting some of these election integrity reforms, everyone feels like their vote is counted, their voice is heard. If you request an absentee ballot that one comes to you, that you can't have a blanket request for someone comes in and, and requests 100 absentee ballots and then they could possibly fill them out and turn them back in. We have a lot of our airmen and airwomen that are stationed elsewhere or stationed overseas that request an absentee ballot. We want to make sure that their votes are counted. But we also want to make sure that, you know, that there's not uh, any trickery or illegal things going on with those absentee ballots. And we've seen that in other states. I think that controlling and, and making sure that, hey, the, the person that utilizes absentee ballot is actually the voter that is going to vote uh, with that absentee ballot is very important in the election process. Well, what we saw in, in the 2020 election is much of that private funding went to uh, liberal controlled states and in order to try and drive out um, the liberal vote, uh, the Democrat vote. So when this money was accepted by those elected authorities, I don't think that that was their intent, but we saw that that's exactly what the money was used for. Election integrity is very important, and I want to make sure that we have free and fair elections.